Good day, my plant foldies. This is Richie at Grow Folds, and today we will be local plant nursery shopping at Callaway's Nursery out off of Preston Road in Plano, Texas. I absolutely love going to this plant nursery. And before I tell you about the um, ghost I saw at a grocery store, um, make sure that you stay tuned to the very end of this video to see one of those ghosts that I was talking about. It really scared me. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to wait at the very end of this video. But for now, please make sure you are hitting that like button and subscribing to my channel with the not notification bell on. If you like daily one hour plant shopping videos where I just take you on to big box stores or local plant nurseries out in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, I am based out in North Dallas and I love just taking um, people to go plant shopping with me. But as you guys can see, Callaway's Nursery has some amazing looking um, Thai constellations. And so there have been a lot of Monstera Thai constellations available at big box stores. Um, recently, we found some Monstera Thai constellations at Kroger grocery store for like $29.99. And um, Costa Farms has released a bunch of Thai constellations to some um, select Walmarts. I haven't been fortunate to find a Monstera Thai constellation yet at a Walmart here in North Dallas which is where I'm based at, but hopefully I will find them soon. But um, my plant foldies, and if you are new to this channel, I call my viewers and subscribers plant foldies. Welcome to the, today's video. Um, Callaway's Nursery is actually a local plant nursery chain of nurseries out in the Dallas Fort Worth area. This is a nursery that I like to go frequent because they have so many varieties of plants. Like right here, we've got a polka dot plant, White Splash um, for $7.99. That is not a bad price at all. And look at how gorgeous that um, coloration is. It's just stark white. And you can see we've got pink ones as well. But as you can see here, every Callaway's nursery is always packed. Some of them are bigger than others, but you know what? Every Callaway's um, nursery has one common denominator, and that is that they have an amazing selection of plants for really good prices. Like, look at these spring cactus here, these starters in two-inch starter planters for only $2.99. I really like the blooms of these um, spring cactus. Like, look at this one right here. It's got like a fuchsia look to it. We just saw some of those red blooms. And then we also have some orange blooms right over here. And you can see here, these are only for $7.99. That is not a bad price at all. And what I like about Callaway's plant nursery is if for some reason you're not satisfied with the plant, whether it just declines in health or just anything in general, they have a really good return policy where you can potentially return the plant as long as you are part of the Garden Rewards member. And you can see right here what gorgeous orange blooms on the spring cactus. I am just really excited that I've been able to be consistent about my live premieres this week. I have been able to film um, ahead, so I'll be able to get you guys some more plant shopping content. Um, at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, that is the goal. Um, and I would like to say thank you to all of the new faces that are on the live premiere chat. So if you happen to be watching this video live, please make sure you are saying hi to us. We love welcoming more people to our plant foldy community um, it is steadily growing and for those that have shared my plant con 2024 video to your social medias and friends and family thank you so much we have reached 12 thousands of um, viewers um, for that particular video and for those that haven't seen plant con 2024 please check it out it is an hour and a half long video where i feature a lot of rare plants but anyways going back to this particular callaway's nursery as you guys can see it is full it is huge and i'm going to try to show you some of my plants that i typically like to shop for but i am always open to feedback if you want me to feature a specific plant just leave that in the comments and um, for those that have been following my video videos in the last three to four weeks, I have a plant obsession that I just can't shake off of me, and that is coleus plants. So these ones right here in six um, inch planters um, are for $29.99. That is a huge one right there with huge leaves. And over here has some beautiful foliage. This one is for $12.99. I really like the dark stems on this particular coleus plant. You can see that there is some um, pink and just different colors on the leaves. I like coleus plants because they're easier, um, easy to take care of. The only thing that coleus plants really requires is bright indirect light most of them are really meant for the shade although they also have some coleus plants that um, can take full sun i will say giving coleus plants um, a lot of bright indirect light will really enhance their um 
their colors and over here we've got some calacasia so this one is a royal hawaiian um, maui um, calacasia and i like this because this kind of looks like the white lava and this one is for 14.99 look at this right here look at that beautiful variegation on this leaf i haven't tried to grow calacasias in my um, plant collection in terms of just growing them indoors so for those that um, actually grow calacasias please let me know if they actually do well indoors are they a little bit easier than alacasia or are their their you know carrot tips pretty much similar but that is one that i would purchase at callaways and again, Callaway's is just full of different types of plants. It is one of the premier local plant nurseries out in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So if you are a local plant foldy, I would highly recommend shopping here. In addition to obviously going to the big box stores that I visit. But if you are looking for different plants like this, which is a common plant, check this Hedra Helix. This one is for $6.99 um, in a four inch planter. Um, I love English Ivy or the correct way to say is Hedera Helix. I just like saying Hedra Helix because you plant folies have egged me on to say it that way. So this can't be a grow folds vid um, video unless I say Hedra Helix. Repeat after me guys, Hedra Helix. Okay, I'm gonna not try to scare off some of the new plant foldies that are potentially watching my video for the first time, but that is an inside joke. Love English Ivy. They're just one of the most challenging plants to grow indoors. And this is a beautiful coleus plant right here for $12.99. I actually have already bought this coleus plant. This one has some beautiful coloration here, and this one can actually take full sun. I've been growing this one out, and I like that the foliage on the leaves are a little bit smaller because I have an idea to grow out some coleus plants to make them into coleus bonsai. I just recently found some of these YouTube videos that have people growing them as bonsai. So I like bonsai trees. Um, that is another interest of mine, and that's something that I want to experiment with coleus plants. And what I love about coleus plants is they are easy to propagate. Um, and I eventually want to actually have some plant giveaways, maybe some propagations that I do for my plant foldies that live in the United States. Unfortunately, I won't be able to really send internationally. I know I have a lot of plant foldies that are out in Canada. So shout out to Alfred, Chidlita, and um, Kathy. I know you guys are my main um, plant foldies from Canada. Really appreciate you guys constantly being in my live premiere chats. Really appreciate that. And you can see here, I have panned over to Caladium. So I love Caladiums. I always call Caladiums like the colorful version of an Alocasia, even though they're not really the same plant. They do grow from bulbs, so that kind of gives them some similarities. And then the leaf shape as well. But these Caladiums are absolutely stunning here. We've got different varieties, different leaf shapes. Um, some people have been growing Caladiums indoors. I would like to be able to grow Caladiums indoors. The only thing I would say about Caladium plants, especially when you are um, going to grow them indoors is you really have to mimic the lighting conditions otherwise your caladiums could go dormant if you're going to try to grow them um overwinter them at least you need to put them in a situation where the the room temperature is warm enough and it's getting enough light for them to really stay active and you can see here we've got some maiden hair fern hanging baskets but another sea of um, caladiums here i like all of, um, types of caladiums i remember growing a bunch of them about two year, years ago from bowls that i bought from costco and you can see here like this one right here is one caladium i would like to add into my collection just because look at that veining on the leaves now these ones um, at callaways are for $14.99 we are seeing more caladiums available at big box stores and this is another caladium i think is really precious because look at those little pink dots on the caladium it doesn't even look like a real plant but it is and what i like about caladiums especially the ones that nearly have like white foliage is it doesn't necessarily burn unless you put it in full sun so obviously cal caladiums need to be in shade and which makes them a candidate to be able to grow indoors because if a plant likes to be in shade typically growing plants indoors they don't necessarily have the best lighting conditions and you can see over here look at this beautiful caladium notice how the leaves are a little bit more narrow um, caladiums if you're going to grow them from bulbs the best time to um, put them down is now so that way they will start to um, sprout when it gets really hot they need hot weather to really sprout and you can see right here a philodendron heteraceum um just a green form look at that um heart leaf shape um that this 
philodendron has. This is in a hanging basket for $29.99. Beautiful looking one. And that's the thing I love about Callaways is they have a plethora of hanging baskets. Like look at this right here. Instant gratification. One of the easiest plants to grow are philodendron heteraceum or heart leaf um, shape philodendron. And you can see here, I am going to be focusing heavily on um, coleus plants. So hopefully you can stick around to the very end so you can um, see the ghost that I saw. It nearly freaked me out, guys. When I say that, um, when I went plant shopping, I could not believe that I ran into a ghost. And I'm telling you, you have to wait till the very end to really see that. But anyways... This is a caladium, not a caladium, this is a coleus plant I want to buy right here because it has smaller leaf. So I think that this would be a good candidate. This is a vol Volcania um, coleus plant. So this is, you know, another trademark um, for this particular coleus plant. And I'm really excited to take you on my journey as I grow coleus plants. I promise you guys, I will give you guys a tour of all my coleus plants that I have acquired recently. Like this one right here is a beautiful coleus plant. This one has some really burgundy color leaves and the stems. And what I like about coleus plants is if you grow them outdoors, they're so easy to um, take care of. The only thing you have to worry about in terms of coleus um, plant care is you definitely have to water them. They're a very thirsty plant, but what I love about them is they are easy to propagate and multiply my grandmother who is literally the source of um, my plant inspiration why i have um, plants in general um, she got me involved with plants as a kid she was able to literally take a starter plant like this of coleus and then have a full back patio full of coleus that she just propagated so i want to see if i can propagate coleus plants i may do a demonstration on how to propagate a coleus plant and also give you guys like updates on how to root them but you can see this one is a michigan avenue one i'm going to definitely buy this coleus specifically because look at how beautiful that um, variegation is on the leaves um coleus plants um i could see why they have so many varieties like i need to go ahead and get this one as well but i'm going to reserve that for another time this one is also for 12.99 look at how this one has a different leaf shape and how particular the um the edges of the leaves are They're, they got a neon green border around it that is so beautiful and this particular um Callaways has a lot of coleus plants, so I'm really excited to be able to just get a bunch of these um, propagated. There are a couple of coleus plants that I want to grow up as like an actual tree and actually have that in my household. I saw some um, European Instagrams that really featured it, so we're going to see what that looks like for me. So my plant foldies, tell me what you guys think about coleus plants like this split Split Splash um, Coleus by um, Proven Winners, an absolute stunner here. This one is gonna go home with me. This one is for $14.99. Look at how beautiful the leaves are. They're a little bit larger leaf. Really like that a lot. And I mean, these Coleus, when I um, used to think of Coleus plants, I just thought they were kind of generic plants that you, know, you could just grow outdoors. But then I realized that Coleus plants are a very versatile type of plant. And what I mean about versatile plant is they can tolerate a lot of different types of lighting conditions. So they can tolerate, you know, lower light conditions to an extent. Now, if you want better coloration, you definitely want to give them bright indirect light. There are different types of coleus plants in terms of just the leaf shape, the size of the leaf, and then obviously just the beautiful colors. Um, I like the fact that coleus plants are um, being hybridized by the second. When I say that, like, check this out. This is a coleus wasabi. I have this coleus right here and I bought it in a quart size for $6.99 and it is as big as this one. This one is actually for $12.99. This is another coleus plants for instance that I am ready to chop up and propagate. Um, but just looking at how people have been growing um, coleus plants in Europe, I suppose they call these plants palette leaf plants. And when I say that these plants have been trained to grow about three to four feet tall is an actual tree that is just absolutely amazing um so that's something that's really inspiring me and you can see here zinnia plants so zinnia plants let's talk about zinnia plants zinnia flowers are also another flower that is near and dear to me i like that a lot just because i've grown them from seed and they're so easy to grow the only thing about zinnia plants is you don't really want to water the leaves you want to bottom water them or actually bottom water the base because they are susceptible to fungus so that's one thing you want to um, be wary about. But looky here, another coleus plant here. Look at how beautiful this is. This one is 
a little bit more pricey but you can see how full and bushy this is so here's the thing about coleus plants in order for them to not get leggy you want to pinch back or cut back the growth when you cut back the stem you'll get two more offshoots from it so it's really going to promote being um, bushy and you can see here epipremnum panatum albo so this is on a totem and you can see that as the, um, the the leaves come up a pole it matures and starts to fenestrate so that's really cool and then i also like these garden accents like this one right here is another hedra helix this um hedera helix though has more of like a rounder shaped form leaf really like that a lot and then we've got another um english you know actually swedish ivy white edge and i bought one of these for 3.99 and it is already exploded i am actually getting ready to propagate some cuttings from that as well so here's the thing about plants i love plants because i love to see the growth of new plants like you can see here another coleus plant here this one is um, also for $12.99, but you can see that you can take several cuttings actually from this and get a bunch of free plants. Um, but what I like about plants, not only do I like seeing growth updates, but I also like to create new plants. When, and what I mean by creating new plants is propagating. I remember a couple years back, I literally propagated like 50 pothos cuttings just because I wanted to see the roots, just because I wanted to um, have free plants to give to friends and family. And I think that's a lovely thing when it comes to that. And you can see here, we've got an Algerian ivy. I love I Algerian ivy. They are just as... Um, prone to spider mites however as like a hedera helix and so that's that's the reason why like i have this love hate relationship with english ivy i talk about that literally in every single video um so bear with me on that and then these um coleus plants right here which are all for 2.99 which is a really good deal i love callaways cannot tell you how much i love callaways um these um coleus are sun coleus meaning these can take full sun and i absolutely love that as well and for 2.99 you are definitely going to be saving some money because you can actually propagate from this and get multiple plants and that's the thing about all of the plants right here really like that a lot and then obviously somebody changed their mind on this um proven winners coleus plant i am definitely going to get one of those because those are for 14.99 but all of the coleus plants that we're looking at currently here are all sun coleus plants so we are going to see what um, some coleus I'm going to end up getting. I'm thinking of just getting all of them. Like this one right here is another coleus plant. I do like the dark foliage on this one right here. And it looks like it might have just been propagated. And it looks like the leaves may end up getting a little bit um, large as well. I want to see what kind of coleus plants, actually how many coleus plants I will be able to propagate and multiply this year. The only thing I'm concerned about with coleus plants is they definitely need a lot of water. And with the Texas um, summers here in North Dallas, 100 plus degree weather kind of, um, let's just say, makes me a little bit cautious about having plants that are really not drought tolerant. But how do you not get yourself to be obsessed with coleus plants? So plant foliage let me know what you think like this one right here i really like that there's that dark um coloration coming from the middle part of the leaf and then these ones i think are a more uncommon coleus plant i think it's like the black dragon or something like that that's the only thing about coleus plants that i don't really like is the fact that they don't really have a lot of cultivar names i can totally understand why because there are so many varieties of coleus plants and then obviously a lot of coleus plants look very similar to each other but this one right here is another coleus plant, for instance, that I want to get because I like that there's just very little um, middle part, like coloration on the middle part. Again, you could probably chop this up two to three times, this particular plant, and get three cuttings out of it and get three new plants. Um, I will say coleus plants, when um, put into water, will literally root within a week and a half. Um, like right here, you can actually cut this three times or two to three times and get three to two cuttings. And then the, the bottom part of this plant will actually get a little bit more bushy. So that's the thing about coleus plants. And I think that's the reason why certain plants really appeal to me because 
plants that I can easily propagate um, bring me joy. I don't know what it is about the propagation process. And like, look at that one right here. Beautiful looking coleus plant. Um, plant folies, let me know in the comments if you are all about um, propagating plants and just multiplying your collection. I really think through propagation, we're able to save money and we're able to bring joy to each other because I like to give a lot of my propagations out to, to my friends and family. You know, plants like this, for instance, I, I think that it would be easy to grow and that's the thing that has really um, made me happy doing these plant shopping videos. I know that um, a lot of you guys have become regulars and when I say that I really appreciate you guys coming by each and every day to engage with me on the live premiere chats, it's just amazing because um, plant, I would say growing plants Plants are um, a community thing. I think that having a community to be able to share our thoughts, be able to share plants, and just be able to engage with each other, I think that's really cool. And you know, with the Plant Foldy community on Growfold, um, everybody is welcome. It doesn't matter what age you are. Um, if you love plants, this is definitely the channel for you. And then, you know, to go off of me from being, you know, from rambling, I did want to show you these Fetonias. So Proven Winners has some awesome looking Fetonias right here. Though They're both called Broadcast. And then this is another Hoya. So for all of my Hoya lovers, I'm, I'm really trying to find more Hoyas to show you. But this one is by Proven Winners. And then these are called Sea Stone Hoyas. Really like that a lot. Now with Hoyas, the best coloration comes from when you sun stress them. And that means when you're literally blasting them with a lot of light or even full sun, the um, variegate, they, they, the variegation becomes a little bit more different. Like sometimes the, the foliage actually becomes a deep red or even as close to a black um, tone to it. And so I really like that about Hoyas. My Hoyas are doing very well. They're actually easy to care for in terms of just making sure you give it a lot of bright light. I'm hoping some day my Hoyas will bloom but as you guys can see right here I am passing by even more plants by proven winners um, this one is a ficus elastica chloe so the ficus elastica chloe um, has rounder leaves now with all ficus plants um, they require a lot of light and look at how beautiful this philodendron is it's some type of like philodendron orange marmalite I think that's the the name beautiful looking philodendron it's a definitely um, similar to philodendron painted lady in terms of the variegations i like that a lot and then we've got a chiflera amato there or um, umbrella plant those can get fairly large as well and then we're just going to walk over here and see what else they've got but you can see this particular callaways off of preston road in plano texas um, which is right close to george bush um, tollway is one of the best ones i remember going to this callaways for the very first time about seven years ago to buy a japanese maple um, and i have been visiting this callaways um, yearly i shop so many different callaways i appreciate that callaways always has some really friendly staff as well and i do want to show you this so for 16.99 this is a philodendron heteraceum brazil but you notice how these philodendron heteraceum seem to be a lot more variegated like I almost want to buy that just because it's highly variegated as compared to this one, which is also for $16.99. This is also a philodendron heteraceum Brazil. So plant foldies or anybody watching this video, which one would you buy? Would you actually buy the one that's more like heavily variegated or the typical philodendron heteraceum Brazil? And then as we pan over here, we've got even more plants, more aeroids, more philodendron, and we're going to look at some of these um, aglonemas. So I love aglonemas. You already know aglonemas are my favorite plant to grow because aglonemas, just like coleus plants, have a lot of coloration, different um, diversity in their foliage and even the stem color this one is for $24.99 I will say that the majority of um, aglonema the best looking ones come from Thailand and Indonesia Indonesia has a huge following of um, aglonema they actually have so many different hybrids that come out of Indonesia was really fortunate that I found um, an importer or somebody that was selling from Indonesia and I was able to import some plants. I have a video way back in my playlist. So if you're interested in seeing what aglonema I have, I encourage you guys to check it out. But you can see here, we've got a philodendron goldie eye right here. And then we've got a lot of juvenile for Monstera deliciosas. 
and these ones are for $16.99 in a six inch planter. I honestly like this form of the Monstera Deliciosa. I like that it's just a perfect heart shaped leaf. I do appreciate fenestration as well, but when it comes to that, I also wish that they would just not fenestrate and stay that's, um, that leaf shape. But you can see here, I'm panning on some different types of aglonema. This one is actually a really different looking aglonema. It's got almost like a pixelated look about the um, the coloration there. I'm not sure what this um, aglonema name is, but it is quite interesting. This one is for $39.99. So it is a little bit more pricey, but I wouldn't mind that at all. The only drawback about aglonema is that they are slower growers. And in here, we've got some Syngoniums. This one is for $6.99. Um, these Syngoniums, unfortunately, don't have the actual names on them. These are just all Syngoniums. But you can see Syngoniums are also another plant that I really like because the number one thing I like about Syngoniums is that they are a very vigorous grower. They come in different varieties. And they're, for the most part, they are easy. The only thing about Syngoniums that you have to worry about is inconsistency on watering they do not like to be fully dry um, otherwise if you go too long without watering them they can get very um, unhealthy to the point where they start to crisp up on their leaves and then they become very susceptible to spider mites and then right over here we've got a philodendron red imperial beautiful dark foliage there and it's also another plant that can get really large as well and for those that aren't really familiar with bonsai here is um, an example of bonsai so bonsai are actually trees shrubs or plants that are trained to become like a miniature um, tree li uh, living in a shallow pot and you can see here we've got some more monster adansonii these ones are the wide form for $16.99 i haven't had the best luck growing uh, monster adansonii for some reason they just haven't done well for me even the one i bought from costa farms trading tropicals didn't do as well for me so i don't know if you know certain plants just do better than others i will say um you know certain plants do better for others and and maybe it's just the environment that they we put them in certain plants love us a little bit more plant foldies again leave me your insights and comments and let me know what plants have given you some heartaches i know that hedra helix has given me the worst so i am just going to pan over here and show you those um assorted succulents and then these gorgeous looking ficus elastica ruby and then look at this beautiful philodendron um orange marmalade i actually am tempted to buy this one because i love yellow plants neon plants and philodendron philodendron are some of the easiest um, plants to take care of and then right over here is actually a philodendron and i can't really pronounce the name so i'm just gonna put the name up there but they kind of look like a uh, philodendron bilitiae um, I have one of these that I got as a one stem, one node cutting, and I've actually been able to grow it that large. And then we have some more proven winter plants here. So this is a Kathmandu um, Sensio plant. So that is some type of succulent. And then um, what else do we have here? So I found a little bit more um, different types of coleus plants. So we've got these by proven winners right here. And then this is another plant that they have named um, Color Blaze plant um, this is another coleus plant again look at the the veining actually on the undersides of the leaves so that's really interesting this is another plant that i may eventually get i believe these are for 7.99 in the quart size and then we've got another um coleus plant here by proven winners this one doesn't have an actual plant id love the neon yellow colors I would say these ones are probably a little bit more slower growing. I prefer the coleus with broader shaped leaves versus the ones that um, are a little bit more narrow. Um, but you know, these ones have serrated type leaves. Really nice looking one. I may eventually get that. And then look at this beautiful um, Rex begonia by Proven Winners again. I really like Rex begonia because most of the time Rex begonias have a metallic sheen about it. And I am there for it. I love um, metallic looking colors. And with Rex begonia, my care tips would be bright indirect light. Do not water the foliage, like do not get the leaves wet, do not get the stems wet. You want to bottom water them. And then over here, we've got some more beautiful coleus plants. Now, this is one I would need to get. This is the All-Stars version. This one is coleus special effects. But look at how all the coloration on this particular coleus plant. Like if you look at the details, it's got like a, a dark border around it. And then it's got pink ve um, veining. And then there's like a middle part where it's just like yellow, you know, faint yellow. 
and then this one is another all stars coleus plant this is um the flamethrower series i've already collected all of these but these are all for 3.99 as starter plants and we've got another one right here i have this one as well love that it's a yellow coleus this one is also called um spice curry so this one can actually be put in the sun or shade so i like the versatility of all of these coleus obviously these have been hybridized as well and you can see that there's just different varieties of it i am excited to be able to grow these in a um, larger and just see how much um free plants i can get out of these coleus propagation so i've already started to propagate i've already started to grow seeds and you can see here one of my favorite ones that i um, got because of the neon um, green foliage this one is the salsa verde um, coleus flamethrower series beautiful one and again if you go to um, callaway's nursery these are only for 3.99 you can actually start out with all of these starter plants and by the end of the season you can have multiple plants like my grandmother but um that's the reason why i love showing you guys local plant nurseries because there is a lot of diversity you know obviously we love to go to big box stores because big box stores will give you some really good savings when it comes to plants i am all about trying to show you guys um how to save money on plants by giving you guys different pr um, pricing um, I want to show you this as well. So these are sun patients. So impatient flowers are the ones that you can, um, that have to grow in shade, but these have been hybridized and also hybridized to the point where they have variegation on the leaves, but these ones can grow in full sun. You know, you would assume that most blooming flowering plants need the sun, but some of them like shade. And I do want to um, pan over here and show you this magnificent looking monstera thai constellation leaf this one just recently unfurled and can we say that that just has some amazing variegation this monstera thai constellation is for 499 dollars which for um, instant gratification if you want a large form monstera thai constellation that is not a bad price at all i will say that monstera thai constellations thank goodness have become more readily available because like four years ago i ended up paying like 200 dollars for a one leaf one node cutting um, to get it but you can see that plant pricing no matter how rare or uncommon a plant is if you just wait a couple of years or just in time there will be enough propagations of that plant to where the price plant uh, plant plant pricing will go down typically there are some pl um, um, plants that have held on to their value but for the most part now that we have like tissue culture plants and that you can mass produce you'll be able to get more of that and you can see here, I just passed by a bunch of assorted different ferns. This is a heart leaf fern. I like the look of a heart leaf fern, but from my viewers and subscribers, you guys have mentioned that is actually a challenging plant. And I'm really not for challenging plants. Um, I think when you are growing plants, plants should be... Um, a venue where it can relax you it can bring you joy but when plant chores for instance when plants become overwhelming because they've either been infested by bugs or if you have no time to water them or you just can't keep up with them that's when plants that's that's when you either need to downsize plants or really re revisit what plants you're growing like for instance i know for a fact that this calathea lancifolia is beautiful but um for this Calathea for $16.99, I don't know if I necessarily want to invest that much time, you know, making sure that I'm giving it like purified water and giving it that high humidity that most Calatheas take. Um, Calatheas are a little bit more of a sensitive plant. I figured that by growing, you know, Calatheas in straight water, it's easier to um, take care of them. So most of my Calatheas are actually in a hydroponic situation. Now, when you think about easy care plants, that is a Dracaena Janet Craig Compacta one of the easiest plants to take care of this one is for $16.99 highly recommend that anybody who's starting out um indoor house plants to get a dracaena especially the dracaena genicred compacta beautiful trade scanthia nanook one of my favorite pink plants right here this one is for $9.99 very easy to propagate as well i happen to get a lot of cuttings out of that and it's just one of those plants that keeps giving you free plants as well now i want to grow a um, Cordyline tea plant indoors and this one kind of lends itself to it because it doesn't get very large this is a um, Hawaiian tea plant compacta so this one is a very compact form of a Cordyline tea plant this one is for $16.99 as well gorgeous looking plant now if you give it a lot of light it's going to give you better variegation and coloration this one is an epiprenum panatum a cebu blue pothos and then we can see that um, this 
Callaway's nursery just has tons of plants. Like, look at this massive um, China doll plant. Now, China doll plants require a lot of um, water. I just remember not, um, you know, like watering it too much. And then it ended up starting to get some browning on the leaves. And then over here, we've got some assorted um, alocasias for $14.99. I believe this is an Alocasia fry deck. Please um, leave in the comments if that's not the correct plant ID, but I do love some Alocasias. I love the velvety tone on this particular Alocasia, and then this is a beautiful Alocasia as well. I can't really pronounce the name, but I know what Alocasia this is. It starts with an L, and it is another nice-looking Alocasia. Proven Winners actually offers this pl um, particular plant for $29.98. That one right here by Callaway's is only $14.99, and then here is another $14.99 Alocasia right here. So you can see that Callaway's Nursery just has a lot of diversity when it comes to plants. And that's the reason why I always say support your local plant nurseries. I know that this plant, um, you know, we do a lot of big box store plant shopping. Like look at this gorgeous looking Peperomia right here. This one is also easy to propagate from cuttings. I have been talking a lot about pro plant propagation. Maybe it's because of the spring, but you know, I love free plants. And then this one right here is a Philodendron Tortum. This one is for $34.99. It is a little bit pricey. Um, Costa Farms does offer philodendron to, um, tortums, but the thing is, every time I see a trending tropicals philodendron um, tortum, it is a little bit heavily damaged, even though it is for like $19.84. And then this one is a philodendron um, paraiso verde. Um, this one is also another philodendron that is $34.99. So you can see that Callaway's has some rare and uncommon philodendrons. And then this one is a philodendron um, orange marmalade for $34.99. I would pay $34.99 for this phil philodendron because look at how beautiful it is. And you can see that these um, plants are um, taken care of. You can see that they were just recently watered. And that's the thing about pl um, shopping at plant local plant nurseries like Callaway's. You get the best plant care. This one is for $19.99. This is a philodendron summer glory. I definitely will buy this philodendron at some point. I really like the look of the, the plant. It has a satin finish to it. There's a certain shine to it. And it is an easy to care for philodendron. Some philodendrons are really easy to care for. And I do love the fact that they are also easy to propagate. So I may do a video plant foldies on how to propagate plants. I just um, cut up a lot, a lot of coleus today. So I'm going to go ahead and do some updates on that. But you can see here, we've got a lot of epipremnum um, ariums or pothos plants. This one is an epipremnum arium um enjoy right here or i think this is a pothos this one is actually confusing me i think this is a, a pothos but um enjoy but i might be wrong and then you can see here this is a philodendron brantianum now with philodendron brantianum they do require a little bit higher humidity this one is for $24.99 but if you grow this on a totem pole literally these leaves will get as large as like a foot tall so i like that a lot and then you can see here, we've got tons of bromeliads here. Love the pink and red variegation on it. It looks like somebody just spray painted those leaves. And then we've got another um, Schifflera here, a variegated Schifflera. This one is a little bit more subtle with its um, with its variegation, but you can see that Callaway's Nursery just definitely has so many awesome plants. Look at how large these plants are. We've got a Schifflera and a bunch of large um, Ficus Larata or Fiddle Fig Leaf Trees look at how massive they get and they can actually get taller than that um these can become full-fledged trees now the thing about ficus lyrata or fiddle fig leaf you need to give it a lot of light in order for it to really thrive um the growth will actually be stunned if it does if you don't give it enough light and you can see here we've got some more um plants that we're looking at this one is another shiflera variegated shiflera plant we've got some bromeliads on the left side we've got some type of cal um, calathea right here and just so many plants to look at like i could literally make a four to five hour video at callaways if i were able to just really go through all the details of the plants they just have so many beautiful plants to look at and then right here we've got an anthurium for 59.99 look at how beautiful that is right here and it's in a sphagnum moss crate this one does require a little bit more humidity and then we've got a um staghorn fern that's mounted that's a really cool display and then just tons of like hanging baskets so um if you are going to ever visit dallas fort worth area 
definitely check out a Callaway's nursery. You will not be disappointed. They always have the same type of plants. This one is a Monstera Peru right here for $14.99. Now I would buy the Trending Tropicals Monstera Peru for $19.84. You just get a little bit more plant from it. And then we've got a bunch of Philodendron Hopes right here for $16.99 in a four inch starter planter. Um, so I like the fact that even local plant nurseries like um, Callaway's has some uncommon plants, some really cool philodendron. This one is a full um, basket full of um, Epipremnum panatum Cebu Blue. Really love that as well. And then what else do we have here? We've got a bunch of Diefenbachias. Look at how gorgeous that Diefenbachia is, that high variegation. And this is also for $16.99. So the value for these plants at um, Callaway's Nursery is really nice. And then now we're going to look at some of these larger plants here before I end this part of the Callaway's nursery tour. We've got some Epipremnum panatum, um, Albo, love it on a um, totem. And then here is another um, Monstera Thai constellation. I wanted to zoom in on this. This is a really cool Croton Magnificent. I actually have one of these. And this one is actually trained to be more of like a tree form. And then I also wanted to highlight the fact that Costa Farms is everywhere. And it's so awesome to see that Target, a big box store, is now carrying more plants. I know that they have a couple of like indoor plants, but now they're showing some outdoor house plants. Look at how beautiful this is. So thank you to Costa Farms for just having a bunch of plants available. Now you can see them at your local um, Target or Target. If you are a huge Target fan, please hit the, um, the like button for this video and also leave comments. But I absolutely love Target. That is one of my go-to places to buy plant supplies. They've got some really good qualities. And now I am going to go to this Kroger Marketplace. This is off of um, Custer Road off in Frisco, right across the street from the HEB grocery store in McKinney, Texas. This is a Kroger store that I'm literally at almost every other day checking for houseplants. This was the same Kroger place that I am um, grocery store that I found those Monstera Thai constellations when they were first released. But um, I heard that this um, Kroger was haunted with ghosts. So I decided to go this afternoon to check this out. But before I go into this haunted Kroger, um, marketplace i did want to check out these beautiful um, gar um gardenias right here for $24.99 um if you could only smell the fragrance of gardenias it is absolutely amazing and then obviously they have some hibiscus right over here to america's sweetheart i plan to get some more hibiscus plants because they're also easy to grow and they remind me of my country um where i'm originally from and that is the philippines a proud filipino here so i like to give you guys some updates on that but i heard that this kroger um, marketplace was haunted like um i am kind of scared to go find this ghost and for those that have stuck stuck around here i really appreciate you guys checking this out because somebody told me that there was a, a ghost here and it was haunted and so for now, I'm just going to check out all of these other plants right here. Plant Foldies, check out this beautiful um, Kalanchoe here. This is a yellow bloom Kalanchoe. It's about to bloom. I'm not sure how much the price is. I believe this is going to be $19.99. So whenever you go to a grocery store to go plant shopping, it's always in the floral section. And I do like the fact that this um, Kroger and any Kroger actually has some really cost effective plants. I mean, I believe that you would actually save money by shopping at a Kroger grocery store. Here is some some Jibera, um, Gerbera daisies right here for $9.99. I love the yellow blooms as well. It uh, kind of looks like sunflowers. Love that. And you can see that these are always um, available at a grocery store, especially at Kroger. Really happy that living in North Dallas, there are plenty of Kroger's to check out. Um, this one right here is a chrysanthemum or a mum for $9.99 as well. Look at how beautiful the, the blooms are. And the thing about Kroger grocery stores is if especially if you go to a Kroger my Kroger marketplace those are typically larger so you'll get a lot more um, plants and you know you can't go to a Kroger grocery store without looking at Azalea Simsii or Indoor Azalea um, really love the white blooms here and then you can just see that the care tips for Indoor Azaleas are um, Keep them in a cooler um, condition between 75 to maybe 80 degrees. 
But the most important thing is you never want to let the water um, or the soil dry out completely. You want to keep the soil moist. Um, azaleas have very fine roots. And again, if you let it dry out completely, it could literally kill your azalea because that's what happened to me. And then obviously, I want to check out all of these Philanopsis orchids right here. Um, I hope you guys don't get tired of me checking out this Kroger. I've shown this particular hanging basket of Philodendron Hederaceum Brazil. This one is for $12.99 and I love the Philodendron Hederaceum Brazil, especially this for that price. Like, um, if you're watching this video, please leave a comment if you think $12.99 for this hanging basket is a really good deal. Honestly, I think so. I ended up buying it a Epipremnum Panatum Cebu Blue here a couple days ago because it was only for $12.99. But you can see here, beautiful Philanopsis orchids. I will say that I literally see a Philanopsis orchid in real life every single day. And I'm not even complaining because it's such a beautiful plant. When people ask me like how long do blooms usually last for Philanopsis orchids, I would tell you that they last for about a month, a month and a half, maybe two months. But you know, Philanopsis orchids, when they are in bloom, they're absolutely gorgeous. It does take a while for them to rebloom, but they will um, rebloom. Now, if you're gonna grow a Philanopsis orchid long term, not just for that one blooming cycle, you want to repot these, um, especially the ones you get at Kroger or at a big box store, into um, orchid bark. Orchid bark leaves it to be very airy because these roots do not want to sit in water. They actually tend to be better on the drier side. Um, you know, Philanopsis orchids are what you call epiphytes, which are basically plants that attach themselves on like trees or some type of, um, they cling onto something. They typically are not seen in the ground. And you can see here what gorgeous looking white ones here. And I love the fact that they've kind of trained them to cascade. Um, so Kroger, I love Kroger. It is a, one of my go-to places to find plants. I go to Kroger to find tra trending tropicals cost of farms plants because they are typically cost effective. They are only usually for $16.99, but I heard that there were ghosts in this um, Kroger. And again, I need you guys to stay to, with me at the very end to see what these ghosts look Look like I am afraid because I am not a hundred percent sure if the person that planned Foldy that left the comment in my comment section the other day said that there were some ghosts that were haunting um, Kroger. So I'm like what do i do here and you know plan foldies i have to give you a little bit of suspense a little bit of commentary um since all of my plant videos i pretty much show you guys the same plants but hopefully you don't get tired of me talking about plants we've been having some really good chats um on the live premiere so if you're watching this live please make sure you are saying hello we want to make sure that our plant community continues to grow hashtag plant foldies if you ever post plants on instagram my instagram name is at grow folds and you can see that i've just shown you guys a bunch of epipremnum arium neon pothos beautiful plant 9.99 at kroger i was able to find one actually reduced price for like three dollars so that's the thing about kroger you um in grocery stores they typically reduce or clearance out their price um their plant pricing so you'll never know if you go into a grocery store if you'll find a good find and then right over here is a large hedra helix gotta love this hedra helix or hedera helix is the correct way to say it english ivy this is just a typical green one this one is for $19.99 i will say that there is a lot of new growth which i find endearing but i think $19.99 is a little bit pricey and then you can see here i've shown just um a couple of days back this is an asparagus fern and notice that at this Kroger, all of the plants are very healthy. They look like they've been upkept. And that's the thing I love about grocery um, plant stores. They typically make sure that all of their plants are healthy and fresh. They treat their plants like produce. So obviously you want fresh produce, right? It's the same thing with the plants here. Like you can see for $13.99, this is a Hoya Carnosa. One of my favorite pothos plants or epipremnum arium. This is an epipremnum arium. Enjoy. Love that um, high contrast on the variegation. Look at how white that variegation is. Now, I went to PlantCon 2024 and I actually saw this as a mature form growing up a totem pole. And I could see that the leaves were really large. It can kind of um, rival a Monstera Albo. So that's like a cheaper alternative. Just grow a pothos on a pole and you will get some really nice variegation. 
I do love this um, Croton Petra, specifically this one, because I like the fact that the leaves are literally black and you've got some orange veining. So it kind of reminds me of almost like Halloween. And now the, um, that we've been told that there were some certain ghosts at this Kroger, I am a little bit spooked out. I'm really curious to see if I'm gonna run out into these pothos, um, you know, these, um, not pothos, but these um, ghosts here. Hopefully we'll run into them. I heard that this Kroger was haunted and you can see that this cro um, Croton right here for $19.99 is kind of fitting the bill of like a Halloween plant, but love all of the greenery we're seeing and you can see here a monstera peru for 16.99 by costa farms trending tropical you need to buy this at kroger if you're looking for trending tropicals for 16.99 which i believe is the cheapest plant pricing out there at least in the north dallas area for trending tropicals go to kroger i appreciate kroger kroger is the best when it comes to some really cost effective plants and plants that are um for a good deal and then we've been looking at a lot of Global Green Pothos or Epipremnum Arium Global Green Pothos. This is for $16.99. And for my Plant Foldy subscriber, Steven, I am excited to meet you in person on Saturday this week. I am off and I will have your Manjula Pothos and your Global Green Pothos. And you can see this one is a fairly healthy looking one. Now with the Global Green Pothos, um, a couple of things you want to keep in mind with the Global Green Pothos. It has green on green variegation, but the variegation is really influenced with the amount of light you give it. Um, it definitely will become less apparent if you don't give it bright indirect light. So for the Pothos or the Global Green Pothos, if you grow it indoors, grow it under a grow light and you will really get some high contrast green on green variegation. Another um, Pothos I would say that we really don't see is a Yesenia Pothos. That one one is a pothos that will revert if you don't really give it a lot of bright light. I wouldn't say the global green pothos would necessarily revert into just green, but the variegation would definitely be more subtle as compared to giving it bright and direct light. And then over here for $19.99 is a Dracaena Lemon Lime. Now, Dracaenas, I say this in every single video, and I will continue to say this, it is an underrated plant. I am surprised that not a lot of people talk about this plant. This is one of the easiest plants to take care of because it can tolerate very low light conditions and it doesn't need a lot of water. Um, it also isn't as... Um, prone to a lot of pests maybe mealy bugs but that's about it and then right over here we've got an absolutely elegant stunning hanging basket of begonia rex for $19.99 by costa farms i like this one specifically i've seen this a lot i've seen it as an exotic angel starter plant but this one is in a hanging basket and if you really zoom in to the foliage it's got like a glitter texture to it. It's literally shining. It's got such a satin velvety texture. Love that a lot. I mean, look at that right there. Would you not um, buy this Begonia Rex here? Now, if I wasn't on such a big plant um, budget, I would just swoop this up and buy it because it's fairly established. I love that deep red tone. And that's the thing too, I love red plants. As much as I love pink plants as well, but red plants are stunning. Um, and you can see here, there is another Epipremnum Arium Global Green Pothos. Now this one is a really good candidate to be taken home because it is already trailing, meaning that this plant is fairly happy and you can actually take cuttings off of this, propagate it and get even more um, Global Green Pothos. Pothos plants are so easy to propagate in water. Um, I am thinking about maybe propagating several cuttings of Pothos as well, just because I can. I think um, that's just awesome to get free plants. And then you can see here, Ficus Lyrata for $13.99 by Mason Farms again. So all of these plants are typically sourced out by Mason Farms, which is a um, nursery or like um, a greenhouse from New Mexico of all places. And then you can see here, we've got a Ficus um, Ginseng Bonsai right here. Look at that as well. I like that a lot. That is also for $15.99. Um, love bonsai. I specifically like Japanese maples as bonsai, but I did make my first bonsai in recent years, and it was a um, Crusala or a jade bonsai, variegated jade bonsai. You can see here a, um, a bird's nest fern for $14.99 by Costa Farms. I don't have any fern in my current plant collection, but I would say most likely if I'm going to add a fern, my first fern is probably going to be a bird's nest fern tornado hurricane. 
um, I think that that one is really cool. And then you can see right here, this is a Dracaena for $14.99. This is probably a Dracaena Dorado. Again, Dracaena is super easy. If you're watching my video and you don't have a Dracaena, please go to a big box store or a local plant nursery or even a grocery store and buy one. I promise you it'll be one of the easiest plants you've ever taken care of. And then this one right here is a dragon's tongue um, hanging basket plant. N another one for $19.99. I do like that these um, leaves are a little bit more delicate looking, very thin. I would say that this isn't necessarily a plant I would take home to grow because I prefer leaves that are a little bit more bold, round, and just a little bit larger. Um, and then right over here is another Epipremnum R. Yum Enjoy. Really like that a lot. Um, now, Costa Farms is calling this a Pearls and Jade, but I really believe that this is an Enjoy. Pearls and Jade has more like speckling on its variegation, but you know, I may not be a pro at it, but what I will tell you is this. Um, Pothos right here, this Enjoy Pothos is definitely a slower growing Pothos as compared to like a Golden Pothos or even a Neon Pothos. But look at that variegation. Again, if you were to grow this on a totem pole, a moss pole, or somewhere where it's going to grow up, the leaves can get incredibly large and the variegation would just be absolutely stunning. I always say that if you grow a, um, a Marble Queen Pothos and Enjoy Pothos, on a totem that is like the cheaper alternative as compared to like buying a monstera albo and then over here we've got just a green version of um, a chiflera plant really like this i saw this about two days ago um even though it's for $19.99 i feel like this 20 dollars close to 20 dollars plant would be worth it because look at how healthy looking the plant is even if it is a green plant i feel like it is absolutely stunning sometimes green plants for me anyway are a little bit more beautiful than plants that are highly variegated call me crazy but i am not a variegation snoot like i love variegated plants don't get me wrong it's probably one that i would actually cater to more but i have a strong appreciation um to um the green plants as well so plant foldies let me know in the comments I, I love to hear your commentary feel free to comment on my videos multiple times i will literally respond to each one and you can see here it's another hedra helix this one is for $19.99 you know that we're gonna see this hedra helix or the correct way to say it is Hedera Helix. There's a lot of Hedera Helix or English Ivy. So sad that I killed my um, English Ivy that looks like this. This is a gold baby English Ivy. The problem with English Ivies, again, is they are very susceptible to spider mites. Uh, they're a little bit more fussy when it comes to consistency on the watering, and they require quite a bit of light when grown indoors. Now, if you grow a english ivy outdoors in like a shaded patio area they're fine you can even literally give them neglect and they will still grow i don't know what it is about growing plants indoors it just makes plants a little bit more challenging here we're holding a beautiful croton petra for 9.99 again crotons are a love or hate plant i love them as much as i love hedra helix and then as well as this beautiful peperomia um obtusifolia uh, marble beautiful variegation and i want to take a little bit of time to show you the variegation here look at the marble variegation on this plant now when you touch the texture of a peperomia obtusifolia um, it's got a waxy feel it almost reminds me of like a hoya one of the easiest plants to grow as well this one is for 9.99 in a four and a half inch starter planter from mason farms um i've seen even more variegated forms of this one at kroger so you know i'm not necessarily in a rush to buy that plant just because i know that it's always going to be available at kroger and then you can see here we've got some more smaller plants but i am still looking for that ghost so apparently there is a ghost lurking somewhere in kroger it's kind of creeping me out just a little bit knowing that but you know i did show up in broad daylight for this one just in case it's really gonna haunt me plant foldies i know i'm being silly but seriously there is a ghost here or is that somebody told me but you can see here 
Um, polka dot plant, this is an example of how a polka dot plant looks like when it doesn't give you um, joy, just because look at how the, the, the leaves are browning. It's either underwatered or overwatered. And even though like you can see this beautiful red polka dot plant, it looks immaculate and perfect in the store. But unless you are literally giving it some good humidity, you're not giving it too much light, but enough light to where it'll keep its coloration and you're watching the watering um, on it, it will um, start to look like the, the white one. Now this one is for $9.99. I've killed quite a bit of like polka dot plants as well. And that is another plant that I don't love it enough like a Hydra Helix to where I'm gonna actually um, buy it again. But you can see there's a lot of Hedera Helix English Ivies here for $9.99. I'm actually almost compelled to buy an English Ivy again just because i don't know there's a certain addiction i have for english ivy and um it's one of those plants that i don't know i just can't get all over but you can see here raffidophora tetrasperma um, training tropicals uh, costa farms plant for 16.99 and then you can see here these english ivies like should i get another green english ivy should i try to like grow this or should i just throw the towel and say that i am not destined to grow an english ivy indoors plant foldies leave it in the comments i really want to know your opinions about english ivy um it's just it would be really meaningful if you guys kind of tuned in and let me know in the comments section and then over here we got another epipremnum um arium enjoy really like the enjoy pothos Again, very nice variegation. The only problem is it is a slower growing plant. So plants that really um, pique my interest are plants that are vigorous growing and easy to propagate with some good variegation. Now, I did get my first bromelia for $2.45 at Kroger. This one also looks beautiful as well. It's got some red on it. It kind of looks like a murder scene where there's like a bunch of blood splattered. I know that it kind of sounds morbid, but you know, somebody did tell me there was a ghost lurking around here. And so I am just um, trying to search for it. I, I heard that this Kroger was haunted with a ghost. So we're going to see. So plant foldies, let me know what you think, what you think the ghost is going to be but for now i haven't seen it and i'm glad it's broad daylight right here here is an epipremnum arium global green pothos very easy so definitely another plant that if you are going to start growing plants indoors get yourself a global green pothos very easy to take care of very easy to propagate you can literally multiply and have a jungle full of pothos i remember doing that about two years ago and i don't even regret it i absolutely loved it because i was able to provide some of my friends and family with lots of free plants and it is all about the free plants um, this spring let me know in the comments plant foldies if you are propagating plants and you can see here look at this gorgeous pathophyllum here this one is for $24.99 large pathophyllum again it's one of those plants that can tolerate very low light conditions you can literally grow, grow this in a bathroom and then you can see here another dark plant dark foliage plant beautiful looking ficus elastica burgundy um, again with ficus plants you have to give it bright indirect light i grow my rubber tree plants or ficus elastica in full sun outside i notice that they grow more vigorously they get better coloration and it's easier to just take a hose and spray them down versus having to water them indoors and i think that that's why um, plants that are meant to go outside need to be really outside and then here it is <gasps> oh my gosh here it is i found the ghost and you know what i'm talking about it is really haunted here this kroger actually has it do you guys see what i'm looking at look at this this is a philodendron florida ghost at a grocery store let me repeat to you guys a philodendron florida ghost at kroger this is for $29.99. Thank you to the plant Foldy that gave me this tip to let me know that Phil Philodendron Florida Ghost was going to be available. Kroger is definitely haunted. You can see here, look at this Florida Ghost. What did I tell you guys? Plant Foldies, I am so excited to show you this. I am freaked out. I'm kind of spooked out because the Philodendron Florida Ghost has just made it into a grocery store. Can you believe this? $29.99, and I know that I'm geeking out on these like tiny philodendron Florida ghosts. Now this one right here is not a philodendron Florida ghost. This is li literally a phil philodendron Florida um, green because I don't see any ghosts on it. There's no minty variegation. 
there's nothing going on it is green and you can see that it's a little bit more vigorous as compared to the other philodendron ghost here um, i would still buy it i don't know if i would pay 29.99 for it but it is a cute looking plant um, there's something endearing about just being green you can see that the, the green plant in this here and then this is the final monstera thai constellation available at this kroger grocery store for 29.99 so um, i would say anybody that is um, into uncommon or rare plants you have to go to Kroger grocery stores and check it out so I'm going to actually backtrack and see how long ago they released the My Monstera Thai constellation so plant foldies if you are curious to see how long it took for another type of uncommon philodendron or um, uncommon aeroid to make it into this grocery store check my old videos on when I first reported Monstera Thai constellation I know it's been a couple of weeks back but you can see here these are very juvenile for monstera not monstera philodendron florida ghost um i used to have one a friend of mine got me a cutting but then it reverted back but these are really good quality philodendron florida ghost look at that look at how highly variegated the leaves are coming out i'm almost worried that these white almost white leaves are going to remain white but the thing about philodendron florida ghost is it comes out with like an almost white leaf and then it starts to like harden and become more minty and then eventually um turns green really like that a lot now i will say with philodendron florida ghost you do need to give it bright and direct light it prefers to grow upward so it needs to go like on a moss pole a trellis or something to really support it um, but it is a gorgeous plant and right now you're looking at the more juvenile leaves um, but as it gets more mature, as it grows older and comes up a moss pole and crawls up that pole, the leaves get larger and is absolutely stunning. Now, this one is one that I would actually take. I think I might buy this one. There's actually a couple that caught my eye, but that one is probably my number one. Plant Foley's, let me know in the comments what you think. Which one would you take? And then this one is also um, looking like it could be my number one as well because look at all of the leaves here. Look at how ghostly white these leaves are. Kroger has um, been haunted. It is haunted with some Florida, um, philodendron Florida ghosts. I know I'm being silly talking about things being haunted, but really I'm just playing alongside with the name. I don't know why they call it um, philodendron Florida ghost, I do like the fact that it does look like a ghost in a sense that the, the shape of the leaves might be ghostly, but also just the fact that these leaves are absolutely stunning. Look at how white they are. Um, again, uh, this is an interesting plant because of the variegation. It is um, one of those plants that it becomes very highly variegated, like almost white when it unfurls its leaf, but as it hardens its leaves and um, gets... Um, you know more mature the leaves start to go darken and become um, greenish you can see that there is more of a minty tone to it i really like that a lot now i will say that this particular tropic um, treasures nursery thank you so much for providing us with some uncommon plants the uncommon plants i've seen so far at kroger this year would be the um, aglonema red king and then there was the um, philodendron pink princess marble and then we had the monstera thai constellation and now kroger is haunted with the philodendron florida ghost so i'm gonna start frequenting kroger grocery stores again for those that um have just tuned in please make sure you are hitting that like button thank you for tuning in and also for those that have been watching this entire video thank you for staying alongside with me i really wanted to showcase this beautiful plant some people might think that this is more underwhelming just because the plants are small but i remember the full potential of a mature monstera not mon i keep saying monstera this is a the full potential of a philodendron florida ghost like i mean look at this it makes me worry that these leaves are extremely white and would actually burn or like crisp up but it actually gets um greener and more minty as it hardens so really nice looking florida ghost here um I'm not sure if I'm gonna buy one or two. I definitely am gonna buy one, but even this one right here, we talk about green plants. You can see that this is more of a vigorous grower because it's got more chlorophyll. Um, it's green, obviously, so that's that's gonna be the case. But um, again, so thankful that I had a local plant 
Foldy uh, messaged me on Instagram and also in the comments section. So if you are seeing plans and having plan finds, don't wait for me to report them. Let me know because I will drive myself over to a big box store or a grocery store and check that out. But again, super excited. Maybe I'm the only one that's excited, but I just love the fact that, you know, these plants that used to be considered uncommon or rare and super pricey about three to four years ago can now be seen at a grocery store. You would never imagine going to a grocery store to go looking for like plants like a Monster Thai Constellation or even um, all of these um, philodendron right here, these philodendron Florida Ghost. Look at how beautiful that Monster Thai Constellation is. Like, I'm really curious if they're gonna actually clearance this out or reduce the price from $29.99 to like even $10. I would buy this Monster Thai Constellation for $10. So Plant Foley's, let me know in the comments if you would do as well. And I promise you guys, I am doing a Monstera Thai Constellation giveaway on Instagram. So if you don't have an Instagram, please create one. Follow me on um, Instagram at Growfold. And then when I post the post that I need you to like, you need to like that post and then tag a minimum of three people and then um, you will be entered in the drawing. But anyways, I hope you guys like this video. Beautiful Florida ghost here.